Well, hey there, how do you do? Hey there, how do you do? Do do it's good to be together with you. Hey there, how do you do? Yeah. Hey there, how do you do? Hey there, how do you do? Do do it's good to be together with you. Hey there, how do you do? All of us have different names, different faces, different brains. If you weren't here, it wouldn't be the same. Hey there, how do you do? Well, hey there. Hey there, how do you do, 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 it's good to be together with you, hey there, how do you do? Well, hello everybody, my name's Chip Richter, and I am so happy that I could be with you this morning and share some music and some thoughts and just be together, even if it's just online, yeah. You know what, it won't be long, and we'll be back together in person, but for now, we're looking at each other through screens, and it's okay. Turn the person next to you and say, it'll be okay. There's a treasure here inside, a gift of love, a light that shines. Let's give it away while we sing these lines. Hey there, how do you do? Come on! Hey there, how do you do? Hey there, how do you do? Welcome to our time together. I, I hope you're doing great. I hope everything is going well for you. I'm looking forward to us being together in person, although I am going to be jetting off soon and, well, not jetting, just driving, but going out of town, so I'll probably miss seeing you face to face, but I'm really happy that I could share this time with you. You guys, this is such a fun time for us to be together, and I really appreciate the opportunity for me to be a part of the things that you're talking about. I know this month you've been talking about some superpowers, right? Fruits of the Spirit. Y'all have been talking about fruits of the Spirit. And this month, I know the fruit of the Spirit, the superpower you've been talking about this month is joy. Yeah, joy. Speaking of joy, did you bring your smile with you to our time together today? You didn't forget your smile. No, you can't. We, we can't go on. We can't go on unless you find your smile. So right now, you need to look for your smile. Find it. Where is it? Where is your smile? Is it? No. Where is your smile? Is it in your pocket? Check your pocket. Check your pajama pants pocket. I know. I see you wearing. Yes. I, you didn't realize this, but I have my see far, far away goggles. Yeah. And I can see, I can see you guys wearing your pajamas watching this today. Coming to church in your pajamas. That's something people might miss. <laughs> Did you find your very best smile? Did you find it? Okay, hold it up. Let me see it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Here's mine. It's a little wrinkly. Mine's wrinkly because it's old. I'll put mine on. Is yours on? Let me see it. Oh, it, hang on. Show it to me again. Get close to the TV. Oh, my goodness. It looks so good on you. Turn the person next to you and say, shine bright. <laughs> If you have a harmonica at home, and I know some of you do, this is a G, a key of G. Grab your harmonica and join the fun. Here we go. Yeah. 
Have you ever noticed when people laugh, it kind of makes you laugh? Laughter is contagious. Contagious. It's one of those things that you kind of want to catch, right? I think joy is contagious. I think the more joy that we share with each other, the more joy that we'll have. It's true. So come on. So I want you guys to take a deep breath, let it out, and get ready to sing in your outside voice as long as you can. Are you ready? As loud as you can. Are you ready? Here it comes. This little light of mine, you know this? I'm gonna let it shine. everybody. Well, I am excited to be with you and I am really pleased that you are learning about these superpowers of the fruits of the Spirit and, the, and this superpower of joy. And I know what you've learned. I have heard you've learned that joy is not the same as happiness. Right? Yeah. We Happiness, sometimes I think we think happiness and joy are the same things and we're learning they're not. Joy is deeper. Happiness is kind of on the surface. <laughs> Joy comes from a deeper place, a place beyond ourselves. Happiness kind of comes kind of like your feelings. Feelings come, feelings go. Happiness comes, happiness goes. Like, here's a good example of happiness. Let's say you are out on a date with your grandparents. Say your grandparents have come picked you up and they're going to take you to the ice cream place. Oh, that probably makes you happy. Yeah, sure. Grandma and grandpa are coming. Ice cream? What's not to be happy about? So you go to the ice cream place and your grandpa says, what do you want? You can get anything you want. Oh, anything I want? Are you kidding? Yep. Special day. Makes you happy, doesn't it? Sure. Makes you happy. You're full, feeling happy. You get, so you order. Guess what you order? You order a four scoop giant ice cream cone. What? Have you ever had a four scooper? 
I have, don't think I have either, but let's just pretend. Will, we, will you pretend with me? You ordered a four scooper giant ice cream cone and the girl hands it to you and you go, oh my goodness, thank you very much. And you, you take it from the girl and it's so big you can hardly, you can hardly hold the, a four scooper ice cream. I have never had a four scooper ice cream. And you're looking at this four scooper ice cream and you are so happy. And you're just ready to take a lick and before you take a lick, all of a sudden, it falls out of your hand. And it's on the ground and it's melting and it's buggy and it's dirty and it's ruined. And there goes your happiness. Just like that. Isn't that interesting? But joy doesn't go away that easy. Joy is still on the inside. Even though in that moment you may be crying, you may be feeling so sad, your four scoop ice cream cone, it's a puddle on the ground. <laughs> and your dog is licking it up. And your dog is happy, but you're still sad. <laughs> but listen, here's the thing, listen to this, joy your joy is still there. The joy that you feel when you're with your grandma and your grandpa. The joy that you feel when you just know that you're being loved and cared for. Even if things aren't going great, like your ice cream cone just fell on the ground, you still feel loved. You still feel cared for. You still feel safe. You still feel surrounded by your grandparents and their presence with you. You just love being with them. And there's the joy. It's kind of like that with God. All kinds of things that God does for us brings us happiness, yeah? But joy lasts a long time because joy comes from being in God's presence, just like being with your grandparents, being with God, being in God's presence, spending time with God. It's what causes the joy that we feel to to grow and to remain, even when things are hard, even when things are happening around us that are really making us sad. There's still joy. That's kind of a mystery, isn't it? How can there be joy and sadness at the same time? There can, because joy is deeper. Turn to the person next to you and say, joy is deeper. It's deeper. Everybody say, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Everybody say, ha, ha, ha. Everybody say, hee, hee, hee. I know this little chorus, and it goes like this. Maybe you know it too. Ho, 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 Hosanna. Ha, ha, hallelujah. He, 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 he loves me, and I've got the joy of the Lord. Yeah. Ho, 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 Hosanna. Ha, ha, hallelujah. He, 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 he loves me, and I've got the joy of the Lord. Like when you're with your grandparents and you feel their love and their and their great their great joy about being with you. You know your your grandparents, they are super joyful when you are with them too. I think it's the same way with God. I think God's joy increases when we spend time with God. It's like a it's a it's like a it's like a big swim party, and we're all swimming in a swimming pool of joy. Come on in, the water's fine. Let's go. Ho, 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 Hosanna. Ha, ha, hallelujah. He, 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 he loves me and I've got the joy of the Lord. Do you remember the motions to this song? Let's see if we can do this. Do the motions together. Put your hands in front of you like this. It starts out with a big belly. Bring your hands together and pretend you have a big belly like Santa Claus. And go, oh, ho, ho, ho. Hosanna, hands up, ha, ha, hallelujah, point up, he, 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 he loves me, give yourself a hug, and I've got the joy of the Lord, do those motions at the end, there's a lot right there, point to yourself, I've got the clap, joy of the, point up, Lord, perfect, turn to the person next to you and say, you make me laugh. Are you ready? Get your bellies ready. Here we go. Ho, 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 Hosanna. Ha, ha, hallelujah. He, 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 he loves me. And I've got the joy of the Lord. Come on. Ho, 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 Hosanna. Ha, ha, hallelujah. He, 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 he loves me. And I've got the joy of the Lord. Say ho, ho, ho. Say ha, ha. Now 
joy of the Lord. Did you keep up that time? Yes? Did you do all the motions? You didn't miss any. No? Can you go faster? You think so? Just a little bit faster? Here we go! Oh, 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 Hosanna, hallelujah. Come on! He, he loves me and I've got the joy of the Lord. Come on! Oh, 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 Hosanna, hallelujah. He, 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 he loves me and I've got the joy of the Lord. And I've got the joy of the Lord. Do you know there is one more speed? It's, it's, it's pretty joyful, though. I don't know if you can handle it. What's that? You can handle it? Okay. Well, if you think you can handle it, before we do this next speed, it's an incredibly fast, incredibly silly, incredibly joyful speed. It's called supersonic. Yeah. Did you, were you thinking of that too? So before we do supersonic, we always want to make sure that we are very loose so we don't pull a muscle. All right. So everybody just move your head around like this. Okay, feels pretty good. Move it the other way. Now move your face around like this, because I don't want you to pull the muscle. Back, this way, this way. Now open your mouth really big. Uh, now close it. Open it. Close it. <laughs> you should see how funny you look. You're bringing me so much joy. All right, shake your hands. Shake your face. Shake your hands and face. Turn to your neighbor and go. <laughs> Here we go. Get your bellies ready. On the count of three. It's going to be supersonic, super fast, super joyful. On three. One, two, three. Oh, give it a big a huge applause. That was amazing. for letting me join you today. I hope you had some fun. We're going to send you over to Miss Megan and Riley's house for something special. Hi guys. I hope you enjoyed the music with Mr. Chip and Riley and I have an activity to show you today. You want to tell the kids hi? Hi. Hi kids. Hi kids. And do you want to tell them what we're going to make today? A new book. A rocket. We're going to do a rocket. So to do this activity, you need an M&M tube like this, a mini M&M tube. And it's really fun because for this activity, you don't need the M&Ms. So you can take your wrapper off and you can dump your M&Ms into a bowl and then you can eat those. So, huh, that'll be fun whenever your mom and dad say it's okay. So you can eat the M&Ms. If you want to try some, you can, right? And then you're going to want to take some scissors, and this might be a part that your mom and dad could help you with, but you're going to cut the top off of your tube so you have two pieces. And then this big part's going to be your rocket. And if you want, you can decorate it. You could use markers. You could tape you know, stickers on there. I'm just gonna write, do you want me to write your name on here, Rye? We're gonna write Riley on here. Does that look good? That looks good. That looks good, all right. We'll put Riley on here, and then we're gonna be ready for our other part. So, to do the rocket, you're gonna need um, some Alka-Seltzer tabs. These are things that you can get like at Rite Aid. They come in a box and in each box then there's two little tabs and you only need one at a time. Looks like this. So this is something you don't want to eat. The M&Ms, yes, you don't want to eat this. And then you're going to put your tab onto your lid. And I've taped it before or you could just set it on there if you want. And then you're going to need some vinegar. Just a little bit. So you pour a little vinegar into your tube. Okay, and then we put the tab in the lid back on and we flip it over. And you get to watch our rocket. Ah! <laughs> it's blown. And if you hurry up and get it, you can try it a couple times. You wanna do it again? Again? 
I know it happened so fast, we didn't even get to pour a little more vinegar in. Their tab is still there. You ready, your eye? Okay. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> your tab eventually will just dissolve. So we'll do it one more time. It's a lot of fun. This may be an activity to do outside. We have a cookie sheet to try to catch it, but it still gets, still gets a little messy. You ready? you've not been able to go to school, well, I thought we would do some school jokes to make you laugh today. You know, laughing is good. So why was your teacher's eyes crossed? Because she couldn't control her pupils. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. And this one, what school do you greet people at? How about high school? What do you call a dinosaur that's asleep? A dinosaur! <laughs>